Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. My name is Lee and in today's video we're going to go through all the details of the brand new Max Raid event happening right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. It's been a little while since we did an update in Sword and Shield. I think the last one was the Magic Carp event that we had. So we've got a brand new update. It is running over this weekend and it's actually quite an interesting one. So let's hop straight into the details. And the link to Cerebi will be linked down below in the description if you want all the details for this. You can see the event is running from February the 11th, which is yesterday, as of recording this video, to February the 20th. So there's a little bit of time for you to take advantage of this event, finishing exactly a week tomorrow, Sunday, so the 20th of February. And it's pretty special for a few reasons because you're going to be able to access Milsery with the Gigantamax symbol for Gigantamax Alcremi even with a one star raid so even if you're at that early stage of your playthrough you're still going to be able to access the gigantamax form of alcremi so here we go we're going to start off as i say in pokemon sword i'm pretty much sure that it's going to be the same across the board on sword and shield but we'll go through all the details like we normally do uh, you can see that the one star raids are going to be uh, pretty much 20 percent rate across the board i don't know what the difference is with these two uh, all level 17 but you are going to get different items and the items that you are going to get are going to be the candies the sweets that uh, melstry has you're going to get the, the ribbon suite and you're also going to get access to the star suite these items if you didn't know aren't accessible directly in the game so these items are something that you're going to want to try and get in game now to get the different forms of alcremi there have been events before in the past for these uh sweets but if you miss them then you kind of have to wait till these next ones come around so it's advisable if you want more of these items or if you haven't got them in your game yet to get the different forms of alcremi definitely take part in this event you can do it with the one star raids even if you are early on in your playthrough to get them and you can see you're going to have good drops from these uh, raids so the extra items are definitely a bonus to it move down to the two star raids again one and two and kind of getting up to three star raids before you get to that four and five star raid kind of cap are going to be accessible the further you get into your game the more gym badges you you get and the closer you are to completing the game if you unlock all your gym badges beat the champion you're going to have access to five star raids which is where the juice is in this one two star raids though as always you're going to get the same kind of item spread you're going to get the ribbon and the star suite to help you kind of evolve alcremi um, if you want to check how Alcremi evolves, we've got a video on the channel. You can check that out. I'll link that right up here above us if you want to check that out. Uh, so they're the two star raids. Again, pretty much the same across the board. Gigantamax Milsery. Uh, three star raids. Again, going to be the same across the board. You're going to get more sweets though. This time you're going to get the Clover, which, yep, you do get with the, the one and two star raids. So again, the three star raids, exactly the same. Four star raids, actually the same. And then we move down to the five star raids which is like i say where the juice is for this event and you do have a guaranteed square shiny chance it's not guaranteed of course it only has a two percent chance that it will spawn but kind of fitting with the kind of standard spawn rate of these uh, shiny events when they happen in the den so two percent spawn rate for shiny milsery which is pretty cool and um, so you can hunt that all you like and we'll get into that in a minute and then the rest of them are just your kind of standard milsery you're just going to get a bunch of items get a lot of the different sweets that are available available through this event the berry clover is at the flower suite as well that we're going to get access to the ribbon at the start of the strawberry and which one is this one sweetheart as well okay so that's a 10 percent chance to get that one the others are pretty much 30 percent across the board so really good rate and then we'll come down to pokemon shield as well and you can see exactly the same pokemon for exactly the same raids and yeah, you're gonna get the shiny on the fifth star. So exactly the same over Pokemon Sword and Shield. And as I say, the event itself is running from February the 11th until February the 20th. So there we go. Right, let's hop into game and show you exactly how you can get your hands on one of these event Pokemon. The first thing to do, I know a lot of you might already know, but for those that don't, is you want to come into your menu screen go to mystery gifts and then get the wild area news this will connect you to the internet and what it'll do it'll update all of your dens in the uh, the wild area the isle of armor and the crown tundra so you can do this method in any of these areas in any of the dens uh if you've watched these videos before you kind of know i like to come to to dappled grove show you on the map where exactly it is 
um, it's right here in the wild area and the reason is because it's easy enough to spawn uh, these event dens so what you can do is just come here you need to use a wishing piece drop a wishing piece into the den this will allow you to manipulate the den to get the actual event pokemon so you drop it in check it out is it an event pokemon or is it the pokemon that normally spawns there if it's a pokemon that normally spawns in this den from this beam then just move on to the next one it's really easy between the two and you want to just keep checking so it has to be a red beam as well it can't be one of the rare purple ones because that will just not spawn the event and you want to just kind of keep doing this in between both event dens and obviously it is gonna take up a lot of uh, wishing pieces but they're not that difficult to get a hold of so there we go just like that there is the event den you can see because milsery doesn't spawn in this area either you're going to be able to see and guarantee that it is there so now that we've got the event den what we can do to manipulate it if you don't know already because we're looking for primarily that shiny milsery it's only going to appear in a five star raid so what you're going to need to do is manipulate the den so first thing you want to do is click invite others uh, a lot of you may know how to do this already but for those of you that don't uh, then you want to hit your home menu you want to come down to system settings you want to come down to system then into date and time make sure that your synchronized clock is off by the internet then go down to date and time here click your date forward one day click ok and then home menu back into the game and then just be or quit out of this den here It'll take a minute you'll come you'll see the weather change uh, it might not change but it probably should and the biggest indicator that you've done this correct is when you click back into the den you see the message there is energy pouring out the den and you gain 2000 watts meaning that you have changed the date you've changed the pokemon in the den as well and you can click back in and there you go bingo we got the five star and when you get the five star that's when you want to save your game so you want to just save it here because this is the pokemon that we're going to want to check for a shiny these are the only ones that you're going to really want to go after the rest of them are pretty much the same you're going to get the same kind of sweets items collection with the pokemon no matter what you do so the five star ones are the ones that only will house the shiny so they're the ones you want to go after and what you want to do at this point is you want to just say don't invite others we just need to check this we have saved so if it's not the shiny we just reset and then we move on uh, to the next five star milsery to check it if it is don't think it's shiny or is it is it shiny don't think so no it's not shiny i was just <laughs> i was just wishing like i say if it's not shiny you just reset your game come back into it and then you repeat the process again until that next five star raid you can't reset your game and go back into the same uh, five star raid that we've just been into you need to reset the dates until you hit that next five star milsery raid then and then you check that again and then hopefully at some point you will get the shiny but remember have some patience with it because it is a two percent chance to spawn it is a two percent chance to spawn which makes it a little bit difficult to get and can be quite frustrating but the other thing to do is check out online as well for other players hosting these raid dens that you might be able to get involved with especially the shiny ones and that's a really good way to uh, to get them so friends that about does it wraps up today's video on the pokemon max raid event update in sword and shield like i say you've got till the 20th of february a week on sunday tomorrow to take advantage of this event so hopefully you have a lot of fun doing it good luck finding the shinies and as always if you do find a shiny please let me know down below i really do love reading through the comments and seeing uh, how many of you are able to get the shiny really early on or able to get it at all so thank you so much friends take care of yourselves and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then take care bye bye